Hi, hi, hi. It's Adele from Let's Get Inky, and we're in 2021. It's the first arty video for the year. Let's see if 2021 can bring us a little bit more happiness than 2020. So for today, I'm working in uh, this altered recipe book, and I call it my Jamie journal. You may have seen a process video before, uh, but if you'd like to see how I modified it and put it all together, I have the full process on my Patreon and lots and lots of process videos uh, over there using this specific journal. Now, as usual, I over gessoed. I was a little bit uh, overzealous, just excited to put the gesso everywhere. So I grabbed my big A4 uh, Dilutions Creative Journal and I'm just putting some extra gesso in there that I had left over because then I feel like I'm ahead when I go to do my next page and I don't actually have to take the time to gesso it, which is handy. So for this page, I wanted to leave the left-hand side of the page with the text that was already in the recipe book. And this is the first time that I have done a uh, altered book as a journal. I have done lots of junk journals in the past, but never a completely altered book. So it's been fun to, to work in and a bit of a learning experience to see what works and what doesn't. Uh, I have come to learn that placing tissue paper over the spine of the book is really, really helpful to help prevent uh, any inky, watery, painty moisture from creeping down into the spine. So whenever I'm working with tissue papers, I always try to place uh, place them over the spine, as you can see with that floral bit at the top. So the floral tissue paper, I actually got in a with a bunch of flowers that a friend sent me. And usually when you get uh, flowers from florists, the tissue paper is just a, a solid color. And, you know, sometimes it's not the thickest, greatest quality, but this tissue paper, I want to know where they source it from because it is so thick and just absolutely delicious. Uh, so I haven't got much of that left, which is sad because I've been trying to save it and I've come to the realization, especially last year, I really tried to uh, use my supplies and especially things that made me feel happy. I was hoarding them and I decided it's nicer to hoard them in a journal and actually make them into a page that brings me more happiness than just having them on my shelf uh, taking up space. So that's my, that's my motto. And once this tissue paper's gone, I'll be sad, but I'll be happy because it's, it's in my uh, pages of my journal. So this girl was a printable, uh, an art print that I designed for my Patreon probably, oh, over a year ago now. Uh, and this is the original and I've had her sitting on a shelf in my craft room for a while and I love looking at her but I she was getting a little bit crinkled down the bottom uh, it was on a bigger a4 piece of watercolor paper and I just felt like it wasn't where she was supposed to be and I thought she deserved a, a page to herself so that's why I've used it today I'm sticking everything down with my Liquitex matte gel medium, which is what I always use. And I'm being careful not to reactivate uh, any of the watercolor or the pencils that I've used for that sketch because I really, look, I'm all for a smoky eye, but I don't want to purposely smudge her, uh, or accidentally, I should say, not purposely. I don't want to accidentally uh, smudge the pencil lines and and make her make her face a little bit more smudgy than it needs to be. So I'm sticking these teeny tiny little bits of tissue paper. Uh, I think that text one, I don't know the brand of it, but I bought it several years ago, so I'm not sure if it's available anymore. This little strip was a watercolor swatch that I had on the original page, uh, testing out some different colors, and I really love the way it looked. And even though there's no other pink on the page. I just really like how it's a bit of a, a bit of a pop. So now it's time to go through my stencils and I'm trying to avoid the star stencil. If you watch, if you watch this channel often, or if you watch my main channel, Inky Quill, you will know my beloved star stencil. And I'm really trying not to reach for it because I could, I could literally use it on every page, but I, I should try and go out of my comfort zone sometimes. So uh, I worked with this one, which 
To tell you the truth, the stencil looks particularly clean, which makes me think I haven't used it before, or if I have, I may have only used it once or twice, if that. I can't remember using it, so maybe I haven't. Uh, but this is an older stencil. I have a feeling it might have been oh, maybe Teresa Collins. I'm not quite sure, uh, but there's so many word stencils available uh, on many different manufacturers. And then as always, if I dirty a stencil, I like to, to try and get my bargaining for two for the price of one. So if you dirty the stencil once, why not make two backgrounds out of it so I'm just using my little use it up journal and if you want to see more of this journal I have lots of process videos over here on my uh, let's get inky channel and I think I have a flip through as well of my first used up journal I've got two in the go uh, two on the go at the moment I have that a5 sized one and then a larger uh, eight by eight sized one as well and I think I should be finished the other a5 one soon which will be really good using my Uniball Signo white broad gel pen to just outline, outline the word flourish. I just felt like it was a nice word for this flourishing blooming girl. And I don't know, it just, it just seemed like a, the word that stood out to me the most. When I started to put that stencil down, I had a look and, you know, they're all very positive words on that stencil, but that was definitely the one that stood out to me the most. So you can see I've got tappy fingers, tappy, tap, tap. So I'm trying to figure out what I wanted to add. And I wanted another hit of that lighter blue color uh, because I had the flowers in her hair, of course, and then that little bit of watercolor over to the left-hand side of that uh, swatch. But I needed something else. So I'm just grabbing my paint pen and doing some mark making. It's hard to believe we're in 2021 already. Uh, do you think that for you personally, did 2020 fly by or go really, really, really slowly? I feel like the first half of 2020 went really slowly. Uh, I think because of, you know, the, the first quarantining and lockdowns that took place or in uh, where I am in Australia anyway. And the second half just flew. I swear that I closed my eyes and it was the start of August and then I opened them and it was almost Christmas time. I don't know where that last part of the year just vanished to. Uh, but I would love to know for 2021, what is your creative goal? So what is one, but is there a particular project or a particular technique that you really want to try or something you want to do for the first time. So maybe you've never done art journaling before and you'd like to try it or traveler's notebooks or scrapbooking or card making or knitting or cooking. Um, what is one creative outlet that uh, you'd like to focus on for 2021? I'd love to hear your thoughts. I, Aaron asked me this question the other day, actually. He goes, if you had to give up everything and only keep one creative thing that you do what would you do and he said ignore you know that you have a youtube channel and you have patreon ignore all of that but if you just had to pick one what would you do and it kind of stumped me a little bit I wasn't quite sure because I, I feel like I get different things from the different arty crafty things that I do for me, art journaling is really freeing and it's just a really fun time to play with colours and textures and sticking things down and I love brush lettering and it gives me a chance to do that. And I kind of use art journaling as a creative, I don't know, a bit, bit of self-care in, in a way. But I think that if I had to give up everything, I'd have to keep Project Life. I think that would be my number one, which surprised me. But there's something about flicking through my Project Life albums and having all of just the everyday memories documented that I absolutely adore. Uh, so let me know if you, along with your 2021 creative goals or um, something that you want to highlight this year, let me know if you had to give up all of your creative outlets and only choose one, what would you choose and why? Get a bit of get a bit of chat going in the comments section. I'd be really interested to uh, to see what people think. 
All right, peeps, we're at the end of the video today. It was a quick one today. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. It really does mean a lot to me uh, to see those thumbs up and it helps my channel be discovered by new inklets that want to get a bit arty. And I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye.